Okay, another product in the rider range is the number 80 scraper. This is basically a copy of a Stanley product from 150 years ago. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Brand new one out of the box. There's our nice box. Home packing. Comes with a rust paper, so we need to undo the seal. Get rid of that. So what basically is it? It is a high ductile iron body. So this is quite durable. The blade is held in by the thumb screw just undone. We'll lift that out. Got two tensioning screws on here which hold the button. The other tension screw from the back. The handle is somewhere to grip, somewhere to put your thumbs. Flat sole to work on. Okay, so quite a simple piece of kit. Blade, we're going to look at a bit more in a second. A normal cabinet scraper you push for your thumbs. It can get a little bit warm, it's hard work on your thumbs. It destroys the knuckle wear up through here. Very physical. The other problem, sharpening these. The other problem, do you make you push in the back, but you tend to dish things out, you scallop it. We want to keep it flat. So the whole idea of the scraper was the blade is held, it's very rigid, a lot thicker than a cabinet scraper blade. Very thick. Now, other problem with this is how to sharpen these. I've had people look up and say, how do you sharpen this? So let's do that. Okay, so to sharpen our blade, we have an angle. We want to put an angle that there are different ways of sharpening this. If you really get stuck, have a look on the web. Loads of different ways, but this is the easiest way I've found. With our sharpening station, we've got the thousand grip, got the honing guide. The blade will fit into our honing guide. We want a very steep angle on this. So we're going to use 45, but that's still not quite steep enough for what I want. So I've got a 4 mil Allen key. Easy things to find around the workshop. So all I'm going to do is use that as an extra spacer. I work off the gap there. Come up to my 4mm Allen key, get it parallel, just pinch it in place. That will give me a slightly steeper angle, it makes it repeatable. Looks a bit crude, but really good just to use as a spacer, so I get my length right. From there, go on to our stone. Don't need a look. All I'm trying to do, generate a bear. That's enough. Take it out. I want a sharp edge on this. Some people would use it with the bird, but we're going to go with a sharp edge. So I'm going to turn it over, do the back. A few swipes there. I can even just remove that wire edge. So I've got a nice crisp sharp corner now. Okay? So, I've got to go back into the main body. Our blade, which way round? There's the casting. We've got an angle at the holder blade. Got that sharp edge if you like, the bevel edge. That's got to face the back of. So the sharp corner is on the front. Undo a few things, we're going to drop it down in. Just going to pinch those up. Then we're going to lift the whole lot over, we're going to go over to the piece of wood. So to set it up a little bit more, bring our screwdriver in as well, we're going to want that. Just going to back this off now with my fingertips and we're just going to lift the blade out so you can see it, make it easier. That's up. I push it down, I put a thumb or fingertip pressure on the top of it. I'm not trying to push it down into the board too much, just enough to get it all level with the bottom. You need to tighten these up. So screwdriver to there. Okay. On the back we have the tension screw. The other thing which is really good for this, a little bit of candle wax. Too much tension, so let's wind that back. And what we should be getting, nice shaving. If I get too much tension, I bend the blade and it's worth playing around with it a little bit. You can see me also the angle. So, getting our shaving. Clear that out a little bit. The other thing you also get on here, nice clean finished surface. Gotta go careful that you don't drag it back or make it vibrate. If you haven't got it tight enough, the blade will chatter, so that comes down to that little thumb screw on the back. That's the number 80 scraper. Great tool.